Hi, this is Dwayne with Dwayne B Productions. I'm going to teach you how to green screen today. So, my green screen, I just went to the local craft store, hit on some old ladies and stuff, you know, got myself a coupon. 55 cents a yard, green screen, sewed it all together, so that thing behind me, the huge green screen, under $10. Easy. So basically all you need to do is go down to the local craft store, tell them that you're looking for a true green, basically. If you can, print something out, bring it with you so that you have a reference. It doesn't have to be exact, as you saw with my video. It just needs to be green, or blue, whatever you're feeling. But you don't want, the biggest uh, problem is getting it too dark or too light. You don't want that. So... Just get a good grain, buy it by the yard, it's like three feet wide, or right, they go by yard, so a yard wide, and then how many yards you want lengthwise, as you can see, like right here, I have my little seam, you can see where I sewed it together, then there's one here, and then one here, so that thing's like a good eight feet tall, and then there's eight feet on the ground, and then it's like eight feet wide, so it's like 16 by eight feet. So it's pretty big, like I can, I made a video of me dancing around on it, you can see that at, just type in dancing with myself, DBP, it's pretty good, let me know what you guys think. So basically, get a green screen, real cheap, just make sure that you get lighting going, so you can see over here it's a little too harsh, but I cropped all that out so it doesn't matter, make sure you got a good backlight, cross light and then a front light so that you're lit up So, because you don't want any shadows on the back of uh, your green screen or else you'll be able to see your shadow which sucks, it just makes the whole project like worthless it's very unprofessional so anyways thanks for watching my tutorial this is Dwayne from Dwayne B Productions you can email me at Dwayne B Productions no, Dwayne Bratch Productions at gmail.com okay thanks Okay, bye. So first you go over here to your media player, or browser. I'm going to use a picture, you can use video, all that good stuff. Okay. So, I got my picture loaded. First thing I want to do is double click on my picture. Now you can either go to effects through this, right here, or you can go up top right here video filters key chroma key same thing let me just drag and drop now you see you got this new key or this new tab up here called chroma key First thing you want to do is go like this, select a color. So the objective is to get all the green to go black. Now, most people just go over here, start playing with the sliders and stuff. But what you can do is you can click on this again, push shift, and click again. And you can keep doing that until you got most of your color fixed. Okay, now you can go over here, start playing with the sliders. Then you can throw out edge thin and that pretty much takes the rest of it out. You don't want to go too extreme though. Then if you want to, so it's not as jagged around your body, you can go soften. Okay, so this is really rough, but good enough for the tutorial. Basically you just keep playing with it until you get what you want. Okay, now you can go over to 
motion. And then you go ahead and you crop from the left. Crop from the right. Crop from the top. Crop from the bottom. Okay, so now I have myself isolated. So what I can do is I can go here, grab this picture, go ahead load that into my timeline, put that up there. See now I have a purple background, because that's what I chose. That's basically how you green screen, but I'll show you how to make a iPod commercial real quick. Um, you want to go to, you want to double click this, find your color corrector, so you want to go to color corrector, right there, drag it into the top clip, not the purple clip, okay. Now you have a new tab up here called Color Corrector. So what you can do is you can make all your whites wider, or you can make all your whites darker. So you just drag all of these, same mids, you can make all your mids wider or dark, darker. You just drag it all over there. Now you have a basic iPod commercial, like the same idea. I shouldn't say they're commercial, but... So, color corrector is pretty cool. Like you can change the color of me. Okay, cool. Thank you for watching this tutorial. You watch this tutorial with Dwayne B Productions. If you have any questions, please email me at Dwayne Bratch Productions at gmail.com or just contact me via YouTube whatever